current view pull down menu and we'll choose front. So now we're looking at a front view of our model. It might be difficult to see at the moment. So I'm going to click on this option here. Let's pull down menu. I'm going to choose wireframe. And then OK. So I can see my model more easily perhaps. We want to create a viewport. View in the menu bar, create viewport. We're going to create a new sheet layer for this viewport. And the sheet layer name 001 and it's a bollard drawing. Okay, so do we want to give it a number? We certainly do. And do we want to give it a name? It would be a great idea to give it a name like Front View. There are a lot of options on this dialog box, but I'd like to keep it really simple. Let's change the layer scale to 1 to 5. The view is front. The rendering is dashed head in line. Projection orthogonal. And we would like it to create a drawing label. So the viewport name is the drawing number sheet number. It's going to create a drawing label, front view. And if you don't want to do this, you could change its name and call it front view. Let's click OK. And there it is on my piece of paper. Let's just zoom our piece of paper to the full size. There it is there. It's got our drawing label. We can move that over here. Don't forget to leave a little bit of room for some dimensions at the top and down the sides. So let's go back to our design layer. And we'll change back to a top view. View on the menu bar. Create viewport. So this is our plan. And you might notice that the drawing title we type in here ends up on the label and becomes part of our viewport. It's going on the same drawing. Scale 1 to 5. Top. It's also dashed hidden line. And OK. So there it is there. If I go to the top corner and then use my snap cursor, I can then touch that point, And then I can get an alignment point down here where I can line those up. You can also use nudge, which is to hold down your shift key and use your arrow keys to move up and down. If you drag one of your viewports and then hold down the option key on a Macintosh or the control key on a Windows machine, you can make a copy of that viewport. And then on our viewport, we can change the view to a right isometric. Just update that. And there is a view. Let's change it to an isometric view and so now we have a front view a plan view and an isometric view be nice to add a title block to this drawing we have a tool that will do that the sheet border tool bring your cursor into the drawing area double click and it will place a sheet border for us now it says here that it would like a title block click on that and we can choose a default title block symbol. So just choose a very simple one. Something like that one. Click OK. And there's our title block. Now you notice it's in the way of lots of things. So how are we going to fix this? Well, the first thing I'd like to do is go to my border settings and change these border settings to very small. Now I'm using millimeters and I've set that to one millimeter, which is actually one twenty-fifth of an inch. So maybe you could set that to one thirty-second. Click OK. And then on my object info palette, I can choose to hide that border. It's still a bit big, the title block. So what I, I just change the title block scale and make it 0.7. So there we are. I've got a title block. I've controlled its scale. I could fill in some information about it. There's an opportunity down here. There's a button down here called Edit Title Block. So let's click on that and let's give it the sheet number and the bollard number. And you'll notice it's already picked those up from our sheet layer up here. Now it will only do this if you've got one of the designer series of Vectorworks. As for the project, why don't we call it Bollard and we can put in the client name and the client address. Click OK, and that will fill that information onto our title block. Our drawing isn't too bad, but I think it would be better if we put some dimensions on it. So right click on one of these viewports, 
choose edit annotations and then we can use our dimensioning tool to put dimensions on there. Remember double click to finish and then I'm going to go down the side here click click come out there click and then I can just click at each point and double click to finish. And there's a big button over here a big orange button exit viewport annotations. You might find it hiding underneath your object info palette or under your resource manager. So just look for that. Now we can edit the other annotation. Right click, edit annotations. Now you might notice that when I right click, I right click right on the edge of my object. Let's zoom in so we can see that more easily. So what I do is I right click on the edge of the object or right click on the label. You've got to right click somewhere that Vectorworks shows you that edit annotations. It won't work right in the middle, but it will work on an edge of an object. So more of our dimensions. Click, click, so that dimension, that dimension, double click there. Click, click, double click, and you might put another one here if you felt the urge. Don't forget to exit your viewport annotations and then zoom out so you can see your whole page. If you see the red border dashed in like this, that means that you need to update those viewports. Select each viewport, go to the Object Info palette and choose Update. And they will update and you'll see the dashed lines. There's also an option on the View menu where you can say Update all viewports and it will update absolutely all of them.